Today we're talking about the newest Spongebob movie, the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run. So let's get started. After Spongebob's beloved pet Snell, Gary, is Snellnapped, he and Patrick embark on an epic adventure to the lost city of Atlantic City to bring Gary home. Just a quick thanks for stopping by my channel. If you guys love to watch movies like I do, you guys are in the right spot. Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming videos. Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run is finally on Netflix. Except for Canada and the US. Uh, thank God for VPN. I've been looking forward to this movie for a while now. I was curious about this new animation style for Spongebob because it's a beloved classic and the animation for it has been pretty much the same throughout. But with this new movie, it looks very different. It looks very cuddly and cute and adorable and I couldn't wait to see how they would handle Sandy Cheeks and Mr. Krabs and Plankton and Karen and all of the classic Spongebob characters in this form of the animation. Now, it does take some time to adjust to that style with Bikini Bottoms and the Krusty Krab and going to the Lost City of Atlantic City. The animation style is a bit jarring at first. You have to Remind yourself that you're watching a Spongebob movie because it just feels very different. Like you're not watching a Spongebob movie or an episode because it just looks so different. And there is a upcoming series called Camp Coral, which will be in the same style of this animation. So they're kind of testing how the animation works. Unfortunately, the Spongebob movie Sponge on the Run is terrible. I did not care for a Spongebob movie at all. I really do like Spongebob. I've watched most of the episodes when I was younger. I saw the first Spongebob movie in theaters. I saw the second Spongebob movie in theaters. I just enjoy Spongebob. This one, not so much. This one really feels like it's a commercial for the Camp Coral and an advertisement for that because Spongebob and Patrick embark on this journey to the lost city of Atlantic City to bring back Gary. But along the way, the film takes many different routes, many different detours, and it just becomes ultimately so distracting. There is a moment in here with Keanu Reeves where he's playing a tumbleweed, a sage, and that whole scene is like a dream sequence for Spongebob and Patrick, and it takes up a good majority of the movie. There's random musical numbers. Snoop Dogg and Danny Trejo are in this movie as actual people. The film is the film derails from its actual journey with Patrick and SpongeBob going to the lost city of Atlantic City so many times that you honestly forget what their journey is and what their end goal is because it's so distracting with so many different subplots in so many different moments for these characters that it just really takes you out of it. And at the end of the film, we have like this advertisement for Camp Coral where each character explains how they met SpongeBob and that's like five, 10 minutes for each character. And for like the good last 30 minutes or so of the movie, we're just seeing them as kids but it's really just halting the story of SpongeBob and Patrick trying to find Gary. And it all becomes about SpongeBob and how he's a good cook and how he's a good friend, which is not what the story is about at all. It's not about SpongeBob and how awesome he is. It's about finding Gary. That was the initial setup for the movie. And at the end of the film, we're just kind of talking about how awesome SpongeBob is and having these flashback moments to when Squidward and Sandy and Patrick and Mr. Krabs were younger and when they first met Spongebob, which is a huge advertisement and commercial for the upcoming Camp Coral. And I just felt like it was so out of place. Like they just wanted to kind of show you what the show was going to be like and the voice acting and the animation. And then also just they just plugged that into the movie and it did not work at all. Now some of the jokes and some of the characters did feel like I was watching Spongebob Patrick and Spongebob's relationship 
was like something I've seen before. Sandy and Mr. Krabs and Squidward and Plankton, they all felt like their characters. None of that is an issue to me. I like the characters and I did laugh quite often within the movie when it came to some of the interactions between some of the characters. But the biggest gripe for me within this movie is its story and how it is so distracting and it goes off on these different stories and dreams and musical numbers and it's just all really, really bad. And the plot with Gary being snail napped is not that strong either. And so when you don't have the strongest plot to start the movie off, and then you have to plug in these odd sequences throughout, it doesn't make the whole story really engaging and really interesting. So the end of SpongeBob, which wraps up pretty quickly, about an hour and 20-ish minutes long, I'm thinking, what was that even really about? I Was it wanting to be a story about SpongeBob trying to find Gary? Or was it just a story about how awesome Spongebob is at being a cook and a friend. I don't know. Ultimately, I was really disappointed with the movie. I don't mind the animation. I think it works for a new style of Spongebob. I'm interested in checking out Camp Coral, uh, but those moments plugged into the movie, I just didn't really care about it. It was a little bit jarring at first. You had to get used to the animation style for Spongebob, but I think that it ultimately did work. And I really do like Spongebob. I'm not sitting here and say, oh, it's a kid's movie and I'm being too harsh with it. I like Spongebob. I really enjoyed the first movie. I thought the second film was really funny. And I enjoy a lot of the episodes. It's something that I still like as an adult. This movie, it just was really bad. I'm going to go ahead and give the Spongebob movie, Sponge on the Run, a C-. minus. Thank you guys for checking my review for Spongebob Sponge on the Run. If you live outside of Canada and the US, you can check it out on Netflix. If you got a VPN, you can unlock it and watch it on Netflix here in the US. Stay tuned for more up and coming videos. My name is Just Watch the Movies, and you guys stay classy, YouTube.